This is Alain from Javelin, a treasure hunter in the SOLIDWORKS 2013 universe. Today I'm extremely happy to be able to share with you a little nugget I just found, and special thanks to my friend Ron from SOLIDWORKS for describing this functionality. As you probably know, manipulating the viewport can be done very easy by using the meet mouse button. Some people say that they actually rotate the model when they start dragging with the mid mouse button press, which is not really true. You are changing your point of view, you are not moving the model. As you can see, the triad actually is stationary in a report in uh, ref reference to the model. For a long time now, I believe for the past few releases, um, you were able to select an entity with the mid mouse button, an edge, a face, a vertex, in order to get a more precise movement of this uh, viewport. That being said, SOLIDWORKS 2013 brings a new setting that you can take advantage of, and I believe it's quite quite revolutionary. You can right-click on the graphic area and you can turn on this option, Rotate About Scene Floor. This is an on-off switch, so as long as this remains checked, the behavior of your mid mouse button changes. If I press and drag the mid mouse button to the left or right, I'm spinning the mono. If I'm moving it up or down, I'm tilting the model. And again, when I say tilt or spin the model, you know I'm talking about uh, affecting the viewport, not the actual model. If you drag your mid mouse button in an oblique direction, you can actually do both spinning and tilting. But have you noticed something interesting? The Y axis of the triad will always move in a plane that is normal to the screen. So I believe this gives you a lot of power and also a lot of precision when trying to get the best orientation for your model. Thank you and enjoy.